Once upon a time, there was a man named Patrice Lumumba who was born in the Belgian Congo in 1925. Patrice Lumumba was a self-educated man who became involved in the Congolese nationalist movement in the 1950s. He was a passionate advocate for Congolese independence and wanted to create a united, independent Congo that could stand up to colonial powers and promote Pan-Africanism. Number number one, rise to power. In 1958, Patrice Lumumba co-founded the movement National Congolese (MNC), which quickly became the most popular political party in the Congo. The MNC advocated for independence and social justice for all Congolese people. In 1960, the Congo gained independence from Belgium and Lumumba was elected as the country's first prime minister. His rise to power was a symbol of hope for many Congolese people who had suffered under colonial rule for decades. Number number two, assassination. However, Lumumba's time in power was short-lived. He was overthrown by Colonel Joseph Mobutu in September 1960 and placed under house arrest. Lumumba managed to escape and fled to Stanleyville, where he declared himself the legitimate prime minister of the Congo. The United States and Belgium saw Lumumba as a threat and supported his removal. In January 1961, Lumumba was captured by Mobutu's forces and handed over to Katangan separatists who executed him. Lumumba's assassination remains controversial, and there are many theories about who was responsible for his death. Number number 3, Legacy. Despite his brief time in power, Lumumba's legacy is still felt in the Congo today. He is widely regarded as a hero of Congolese independence and a symbol of African anti-colonialism. Lumumba's vision of a united, independent Congo remains an important goal for many Congolese people today. In 2006, the government of the Congo declared Lumumba a national hero and renamed the country's main airport after him. Number number 4, Ideology. Lumumba was a leftist and believed in socialism and pan-Africanism. He saw the Congo as a key player in the fight against colonialism and imperialism in Africa and sought to create a united African front against Western powers. Lumumba's speeches and writings often emphasized the importance of African unity and self-determination. He believed that African nations should be free to chart their own course and determine their own destiny without interference from external powers. Number number 5, Early Life Patrice's early life was marked by poverty and hardship. He was born into a family of farmers and was forced to drop out of school at an early age due to financial constraints. Despite these challenges, Patrice was a voracious reader and taught himself several languages, including French, English, and Swahili. His early experiences with poverty and colonial oppression inspired his later political activism and his vision of a united, independent Africa. Patrice's story is a powerful reminder of the importance of fighting for justice and equality. Despite the obstacles he faced, Patrice remained committed to his vision of a better future for his people. His legacy continues to inspire people around the world to work towards a more just and equitable society. In conclusion, Patrice Lumumba was a visionary leader who fought tirelessly for Congolese independence and African unity. His life was cut short by those who saw him as a threat. But his legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of Congolese people and all those who believe in the power of self-determination and social justice.